Okay, for problem 13, we have to draw a top, front, and side views of this hat rack. And so if the front is labeled here, the front would be looking at it from this direction. The top would be if you were standing in the front and looking down on the object. So I'll draw the top view first. The top view, we would see the, this is probably some type of board that these pegs are attached to. And so we would see this board and then the two pegs for hanging the hats would be um, something like this. The uh, front view, now we're looking directly at the object, and so that board would just look like this big rectangle. And the two pegs would just look like circles here and here. The side view, um, it's labeled on the right side, so we would see the board on the right, and then the pegs would be extending from the board, but since they, they would be in this, they would be um, one behind the other, we would only see one of them. And so I think that's that's my interpretation of top front and side view. Anything close to that would be fine. Problem number 14, we need to calculate the volume of the solid. Um, it has one base, it's a pyramid. Base is that large rectangle. Uh, volume of a pyramid, we learned it's uh, the same as volume of a prism, except you have a factor of one third one-third multiplied by the area of the base multiplied by the height. So in other words, if I had a rectangular prism with the same uh, base as this pyramid, it would be three times the volume of the pyramid. And so substituting into that formula, I can't really yet write any defined area of the base first, but that's easy enough because it's a rectangle. So base multiplied by height, or 38 times 11, that's 380 and 38, which is um, four, 418. 380 and 38, yeah, 418. So one third multiplied by the area of the base, which we just determined is 418, multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the vertex to the base, which is 10. Um, 418 is not a multiple of three. So I just added up the digits really quickly. So we're just gonna do um, one third of 4,180. And I'll divide by 3 on the side here. I'm going to keep getting 10, so I'm going to keep getting 3s here. So I know it's the exact uh, volume is 1,393.3 repeating, but it, it the directions tell us to round to the nearest tenth, so 1,393 and 3 tenths. Uh, meters cubed for volume. Volume is three-dimensional. Okay, last problem on the on the review, problem 15. Calculate surface area of the cone. And we learned a formula for surface area of a cone, actually derived it in class. It's going to be equal to pi multiplied by the radius multiplied by the slant height plus pi r squared. So the pi r squared is just the radius of, I mean the, um, excuse me, the area of the base circle. 
but then to get this lateral area you multiply pi by the radius of the base circle and then you multiply that by the slant height this um, perpendicular distance from the vertex to the um, edge of the circle so substituting into that formula using 3.14 according to the directions we get surface areas approximately 3.14 multiplied by this 4.2 is the diameter so I want half of that for the radius 2.1 multiplied by the slant height which is 9 and 2 tenths plus 3.14 multiplied by 2 and 1 tenth squared. I'm going to use a calculator for this. 3.14 multiplied by 2.1 multiplied by 9.2. That first term is 60 and 6,648 um, hundred thousandths, tenths, hundred thousandths, ten thousandths, ten thousandths, sorry, plus 3.14 multiplied by 2.1 squared, that's 13, and 8,474 ten thousandths, and when I add those, I get the surface area is approximately 74 and 5,122 5, ten thousandths, but rounding to the nearest tenth again, so 74 and 5 tenths uh, millimeters squared or cubed surface area. area. So we're talking about the two dimensional uh, space on the surface, so that's two dimensional, that's squared. Okay, that completes the review. Thanks for watching. Thanks for studying so hard for your test. I know you'll do great, and I'll see you tomorrow.